Good morning, this is Wayne Below with another Smart Profit Maximizing Moment. Um, Wednesday, no, Tuesday. How did I lose my mind? It's Tuesday. <laughs> it was a long day yesterday. And I'm a big, big hockey fan, so I watched a couple of good games, including my Bruins taking care of business and moving on to the conference finals, which I know nobody in El Paso hardly cares about. <laughs> but anyways, that's one of my things that I like to do. Um, today we're going to talk about 11 ways to stay in touch with your customers. If you watched yesterday's, I talked about an instance where people lost a sale because they did not, because I didn't remember who they were. I talked about a plumber who I went to give a referral to and it had been a couple of years and I couldn't find their name, number, couldn't even remember who they were. All right. Um, and as I pointed out, the problem isn't with the customer. The problem is with the plumber or with us as the business owners, because it's our job to keep the business on, to keep our customers remembering us, all right? Um, today I'm gonna to talk about 11 ways to stay in touch with your customers, and truthfully a 12th I'll throw in there um, at the end. But before I do that, my name is Wayne Belial. I'm the founder of a local CPA firm. Uh, 1991 is when I started doing this on my own. I actually started way back in the late 70s and as a sophomore in high school, and uh, sophomore in high school, sophomore in college. Um, when I started working with a small local CPA firm. That's where I got bit by the bug of why I liked working with small business owners. And that's really what I still do. I'm still a small local CPA working with small business owners. We do mainly three things. We do tax returns in a way that as best as we can reduces the, uh, the uh, exposure to IRS audits and makes sure that we do it in a way that keeps the tax to the lowest legal amount possible, which leads to the second main thing we do, which is tax planning. In the last three years alone, we've helped our clients save $4.3 million in taxes um, legally. All that money, $4.3 million, we're not talking chicken feed here, can be, is going to be used by the owners to fund their, their, their retirement, take their vacation, send their kids to college, upgrade their house, their car, reinvest in their business so they can grow faster. Anything but send it to the IRS. <laughs> okay. Third thing we do is why we're doing some of these videos, which is we help our business owners make more money. I'm the help one of the ways we do that is I'm the creator of the smart profit maximizing system, which I'll talk about a little bit more. Um, I try to talk about it every week, but I'm going to go into a little bit more detail of how you can jump in and learn the smart profit maximizing system a little later this month for free. Okay, no no strings attached, no nothing. There's a way I'm going to help you guys by showing you how to do it for free. But let's go to 11 ways to stay in touch with customers. Oh, sorry about that. Allergies. Wow, am I just crying for everything this last couple weeks? Um, a study published by Bob Thompson, the loyal, and he wrote a book which is pretty good called The Loyalty Connection Secrets to Customer Retention and Increased Profits found that 73% of customers who stopped buying from a business did so because of customer service. No big surprise, I don't think. You know, they should stay with you no matter what. All right. If they leave, it's because of bad customer service. But further digging showed that the customers felt the business just didn't really care about them. The key to creating good customer service is to remind, re regularly remind, especially your best customers, that you exist and that you can eliminate their pains, wants, and fulfill their wants and needs, okay? Your success in building customer loyalty lies in setting up a detailed plan for consistent contact with your customers. So best thing, start with finding the best way to contact your customers and remind them to buy from you. Um, here's 11 ways, and like I said, I'll throw in a 12th that I feel is probably should have been on my list when I wrote this blog article. One, send a, send a monthly newsletter. It's a call out to my coach, Jim Palmer. He was really the one that did it. That he, first started calling himself the newsletter guru, um, you know, truthfully, go to his website, check out, just t Google uh, the newsletter guru, Jim Palmer should pop right back up. And the idea is sending out newsletters every month that are set up correctly. I'm not going to go into that, but you can look at him. He also has a wonderful book on this subject, Stick Like Glue, all right? Send them thank you notes. Anytime a customer buys, you should send them a thank you note, handwrite it, and use it a regular stamp so it looks real, all right? Three, you could tell them about a new product that will solve their problems. You need to know what your customers need and want, and so ask them. Maybe they're uh, unsure of what solutions might be available, all right? Come up with a way to help them. 
Four, thank them for a referral. Don't forget that step. Thank them for a referral. Rewarded is best because you're actually then going to get a, you know, you're going to in, encourage the result you want, which is having more, um, more people, more referrals. I don't know why my brain just stopped there. <laughs> All right, number five, remember special occasions. I got a birthday coming up, unfortunately, or fortunately, I guess the option, the other the option is not good, so let's celebrate it instead. I got a birthday coming up, um, and I got a thank you card from my insurance agent. That was nice of them to remember, all right? That's what I thought. You, know, you didn't do anything, just say happy birthday. Um, number six, thought of you when I read this article. Clip an article nowadays, just forward an article that you read to them and say, hey, this is something I thought you might find interesting, okay? Mention you saw them in the news if they happen to be in the news. It's a great way for the customer to realize that you have their best interest in mind. Eight, tell your best customers about a sale or a special offer. All right, if you're having some sort of sale or special offer, make sure they get an early bird uh, warning. You know, customers only day or something like that. Number nine, have a contest. Everyone loves a contest. Have a prize drawn and a customer can earn an extra chance to win with every purchase they make during the month. Adapt these to what your business is. Not all of these are going to work. No, or you might not feel comfortable with them. Number 10, I think, is a good one. Do periodic customer surveys. I don't do them enough. So ask your customers what you're doing right and what you can improve and what you're doing wrong, you know, and what you can improve. I sorry, sorry. Keep it simple. Two, three, four questions at most. Number 11, write educational blogs. This is one I've been doing for a long time. Educated customers buy more. That's been proven over and over and over again. I say that to my clients all the time to the point where they can, I can say educated customers and they fill in the, it's kind of like they do the refrain, buy more, <laughs> all right? So blogs aren't that hard to do anymore. They can do video blogs like I'm doing here. They can do written blogs. I, I'm going to be doing a combination of both. Mine were originally all written. Now, lately, they've been all video because I've been so busy. I haven't had time to write. But I'm getting through the time where I can stack up a few. This is where blogging helps. I said I was going to give you a bonus one. Number 12, pick up the phone and call them. you got the phone in your hand all day, it seems like. And you may not. You're busy running a business. But you have it in your hand a lot. Pick up the phone and call them. Don't be afraid to just say, hey, hi, I was thinking about you today. Um, look at what you, you know, I thank you for your latest purchase. Is there anything else I can help you with? Something like that. Come up with a simple script. Make it sound natural, obviously. That is important. So watch yesterday's. Understand the biggest reason you're losing customers is they think you don't care. All right. So make sure that you've come up with a plan. Part of your marketing plan includes these 12 things I put in place here to help you Stay in touch with your customer. If you need any help with this or anything else, give me a buzz. My number is 915-857-8158. Hit me on, on an email, wayne at wjb-cpa.com. Or just like my Facebook page, all right? You can find me very easily. Anyways, until next time, this is Wayne Blau saying let's make this our most profitable year ever. Thank you very much.